Exploding toothpaste tubes. What are you going to be thinking graduation night? I'll be glad to get rid of this place. Cool. What do you remember most of all about the school? Uh, I don't know. I think I'll miss the security. Of, I know exactly what high school's like and, you know, <clears throat> what, who, the, who the people are, who the teachers are. I don't know really what to expect yet, so we'll <laughs> just have to wait and see what happens next year. Quick four years, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it truly was. <laughs> what was the funnest thing about high school tonight? High school? Besides 35 boyfriends. Mmm, I don't know y'all, help me out. <laughs> the best, the funnest thing about high school. Seniors never cheat, that's what I understand. Exactly, <laughs> right. Where are you going to college? Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech, what? I graduated from UVA. Really? Yeah. I guess we're rival schools. But it's like toward the end of the year now, everybody has senior eyes, we're ready to get out. Hey, why don't y'all go to work? You be my pride and joy. <laughs> that's a hard question. You want to sing part of the song for me? No, thanks, man. <laughs> Weekends are probably the best. Yeah, basketball, yeah, basketball, basketball, basketball games. Basketball games. Football. Baseball just took games yeah. this year. Yeah. Is that what you eat for lunch every day? No, just today. <laughs> Nikki's camera shy. not much work going on here. We just uh, show up and uh, get A's and B's, that's all. Camera's not even on. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the school here in America, Ward Bonneton High School. What do you think of it? Um, I like it. It's kind of different, but I like it. What's it's different fun. about it? It's fun. I don't have to study hard because I don't need my grades in my country. Boys. I've learned lots about boys. You learned about boys? What did you learn about boys? Um, <laughs> um, 
Actually, I have it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Where are you going? Mary Washington College. Do you have any green beans left? Green beans? <laughs> you ate them. Eating salad. Why are you eating salad for the week of doing school? Why am I eating salad? I'm on a diet. This is a cheater right here. No, it's not. That's a cheater. Cheater. Cheater? Cheater. No. What are you going to be thinking about graduation night, do you think, huh? Getting out of here. Going to the beach. Hey, talk about the beach, huh? What about the beach? What are you going to do at the beach? Talk about it. Have fun. What else? What, 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 what is else? this for? Wait, what is this for? This is for the graduation video. What are the benefits to being a cheerleader here at Lord Bonneton High School? Get really short skirts to wear. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chad. I'm enjoying a Valley Ridge Dairy Punch. I have one every day. They're pretty good? Year, yes. How about those sideburns, huh? What, what, what do the other seniors think about those? They're all jealous because they can't grow them like mine. Oh, sure I am. How about a big hug for Mr. Roberts here, huh? Aww. There we go. I remember, I remember most of all, it's like when I was younger and coming here, the field wasn't that great, and everybody. And now it's now they've improved it and it's getting better, and things are nicer, nicer in the school. I'm glad it's improving for everybody else that's coming back. I like the memories, cheering for the football games when it's cold, 20 degrees outside. It was fun. Well, I got a lot of fond memories about baseball. We won the uh, Blue Ridge District Mayo season my freshman year. And we just won the tournament this year, first bottom team to ever do it. Knocked off undefeated Bird 10-0 and went to regionals. Went to regionals my freshman year too, but I didn't get to play that year. Um, it'll just be another step in my life towards the goals that I want to achieve, you know, the, the family that I'll be looking forward to having in the future, um, a secure job and everything. Uh, it'll just be a step forward a good step in that direction. Hey, girlfriend, what's up? Rocky. What's up? Do what? He said where I'm going is going to be a whole lot heavier. Where's that? We and Mary. How about the most memorable class here at Lord Bonneton? 
The most memorable class, I would have to say Miss Callahan, sixth period English class. Uh huh. What was so nice about it? Um, well, we could show up pretty much any time we got around to it. Uh -huh. no, this year. <laughs> no, this year Michigan State beat Michigan. I know. And I'm glad they, they did. They whooped them. <laughs> Tell us they whooped them good, didn't they? Yeah, they you did. They were going to Michigan they say, whooped them? What's that? <laughs> whooped them? <laughs> we're going to be saying whipped. <laughs> It was the year it was our corner. freshman year when we decorated this hall and it got ripped down within 10 minutes. <laughs> and how many guys have you kissed on this hallway right here? <laughs> hmm. I think that's personal. No, it's not. The class needs to know. You're graduated. They now need to know the truth. Um, on this hall, not many actually on the hall. <laughs> Got anything to say? No, sir. I'm just happy to Sir. You, have, you don't have to call me sir. Okay. I'm not in the military. My mom always likes me to talk, say yes sir and no sir. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What do you think about with just days to go before graduation? Well, I'm not thinking a whole lot and that's a problem. Don't we love to gossip, y'all? Huh? Don't we love to gossip? Yeah, just like Melrose Place. <laughs> What's that? It's literature. Cool? That means fancy English. <laughs> I plan to this thing with the Department of Energy to do this biology workshop in California, and I got accepted. And as far as I know, I'm the only one in the state. They select just one person from each state, yes. and I got it. A little hot in here, isn't it? Kind of. Brooke Adams. Mm -hmm. From Troutville. 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 Uh, Troutville. <laughs> Salem. Okay. Tell us a little bit about uh, your swimming. What are you going to remember most of all about that? Um, probably nationals. We've been to nationals and it's a lot of fun, a lot of competition. We've met a lot of people. Yeah, 4 a.m. workouts, have to get up at 4 and go to practice, go to school, come back and <laughs> water. Yeah, and go to practice after school again. What was the secret to you being number one? Well, I don't know. I've worked really hard. And, uh, it's not so much that I'm, I'm real smart or anything. I just work really hard. You study, study much? Yeah, right, much. Any message for the graduating seniors? Good luck. The next 20 years, I have to graduate from the University of Virginia, possibly go to law school. Um, I'd like to have a successful business, whatever it is, and maybe run for public office. Talk to you in lunch. Talking to you about how I'm going to pass English class. Check this out. Chris Keaton's paper. He has his second period. Got an A plus. Every word that's on his paper. It's on my paper. My name's Chad Harden. I hope to get an A plus.
How about this hurt? Oh. <laughs> He's gonna cut you out. You realize that? <laughs> What's this guy doing here? He ain't, he, he ain't gonna pass. He's not gonna graduate. I need a fan. You need a fan? It's hot. Oh. You nervous at all? Not really. Not really. Ready to tear up the world, huh? Yeah. Jump into it. This I'm afraid I'm gonna Ah. You are? Yeah. Real nervous, huh? Yeah. So it was a great four years though, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Let me buy two things. I'm thinking don't swallow my gum. Don't swallow your gum. Have you been interviewed yet? No, I haven't. You haven't? You're in the graduation video right now. Tell us a little bit about what your four years was like. Now as you Long. reflect back. Long. Long four years. Yeah. But it's all short. This last year was really, really short. Are you nervous just before you walk uh, walk out there? I wasn't nervous till I hit the parking lot, so and then my stomach kind of turned. David, tell us about being a senior. What was it like? Hey. Well, it was a pretty intense experience. It was the longest trip I imagine I've ever been on in my life. How about, uh, what are you thinking just before you walk out there right now? Not to fall on your face and have the whole auditorium laugh at you. What are you thinking just moments before you walk out there? Um. Pretty much my mind is that it did blank, other than the right hand shake, left hand take the diploma. It's like a, a weird brainwashing thing that goes on. I don't care. What is this? <laughs> this is my new style of graduation hat. <laughs> was that a duck up here? Oh, and back here? It's yeah. Design, right there. Oh, that's nice. Why are you in a shower for the week going to school? What are the benefits to being a cheerleader? You painted the parking lot. No. That wasn't you? It was just funny, though. to our commencement. The past four years have been years of learning, discovery, and at times, struggle. Without your support and encouragement, we would not have reached the goal we reached tonight. We would like especially to recognize our parents. We share this honor with each, with each of you. 
from driving us to ball practices and scout meetings to adjusting our caps and gowns tonight. Your constant support and presence have guided us in developing our characters and accomplishing our goals. You have brought us this far, and we thank you. On behalf of the Botetourt County School Board, I extend our warmest welcome to the administrators, faculty, graduating seniors, their families and guests on the occasion of the commencement exercises dedicated to the 1994 graduating class of Lord Botetourt High School. Graduation from a high school is a significant achievement in the lives of these young women and men. Each of them began their early, early learning in life with basic common sense, but to, but to it they applied the power of reasoning aided by the observations and methods of science and life. To observe, reason, and think critically on natural consequences of learning. Those who develop the knack of consequential thinking find today's world a much less puzzling place to be. Good thinkers understand things better and consequently are better able to plan, control their activities than are people who think less clearly. Today, it is more important than ever before to think as clearly as possible. The faculty of Lord Botetourt High School and the school administration attest that these graduates are thinkers and ready educationally to enter the next phase of their lives. As you leave here tonight with your tassels draped to the right side of your mortarboard, take with you these few words of wisdom from a parent of one of your graduating classmates. Every person that you meet knows something that you don't. Learn from them. Remember, no one makes it alone. Have a grateful heart and be quick to acknowledge those who help you. Focus on making things better, not bigger. Become someone's hero. Count your blessings. And last, most importantly, call your mother. <laughs> the members of the school board congratulate these 1994 graduates, wish them success, urge them to think clearly and positively as they venture through life. Thank you. First, we have Brooke Adams. Brooke has received a swimming scholarship from the University of Kentucky. Next is, is Derek Banks, who has received scholarships from Roanoke College. Christy Belcher has been awarded scholarships from the Bank of Fincastle Fall Run and from the Delville Church of the Brethren. 
Douglas Bramblett is the recipient of the Don Holliday Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Runup Valley Hall of Fame. Cherie Brown is the recipient of the Shenandoah Light Insurance Company Scholarship. Laura Kaufman has received the Virginia Conference of United Methodist Scholarship. Next is Neil Kramer. Neil is the recipient of the Hunter and Viola Painter Memorial Scholarship. Michael Crawford is the recipient of the Kiwanis Club of Botetourt County Scholarship. Jeff Cronice has received a scholarship to play football at Mars Hill College. Roddy Dillman is the recipient of the Larry Kephart Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Lord Botetourt SCA. Next is Amy Dudley, who has been awarded the Winn-Dixie Tylenol Scholarship and the AAU Mars Milky Way Scholarship. Tanya Ferguson has been awarded the Botetourt County Retired Teachers Association Scholarship. Next is Jennifer Gates, has received a basketball scholarship to the College of William and Mary. Nicole Graham has been awarded the American Businesswoman's Association Orchard Charter Chapter Scholarship. Beth Guthrie has received an academic scholarship from Virginia Western Community College. Shay Hillard is the recipient of the Botetourt Education Association Scholarship, the Lord Botetourt PTSA Scholarship, and the VFW Post 1841 Scholarship. Next is Kelly Honeycutt. Kelly has received scholarships from the Bonsack Ruritan Club, Bridgewater College, and the Delville Church of the Brethren. Anitra Huffman has received a scholarship from the Delville Church of the Brethren. Jack Johnson has received the T. Leonard Tucker Memorial Scholarship. Next is Christopher Keaton. Christopher is the recipient of the Catawba Valley Ruritan Club Scholarship, as well as the Commonwealth of Virginia Bird Scholars Scholarship. Elaine Lackey has received a scholarship from Liberty University. Harvey Letty has received scholarships from Bridgewater College, as well as the Church of the Brethren. Next is Ashley Moore. Ashley has received a scholarship to play basketball at Campbell University, along with a presidential scholarship at Campbell, along with a B'nai B'rith scholarship. Jacob Myers has received the United Parcel Foundation's James E. Casey Scholarship. Jennifer Newman has been awarded the Lord Botetourt Drama Club Scholarship, along with a scholarship from Radford University. Heather Osborne has been awarded scholarships from the National Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese along with the Botetourt Town and Country Women's Club. Next is Laurie Ottaway. Laurie is the recipient of the Fincastle Ruritans Aubrey Drury Scholarship. Michael Patrick has received a scholarship grant from Virginia Tech. The John D. King II Memorial Scholarship goes to Christy Patterson, along with the Lord Botetourt SCA Scholarship. Timothy Plunkett has received a scholarship grant from Virginia Tech. Donna Jo Pritchard is the recipient of a scholarship from Roanoke College. Johnny Smith has also received scholarships from Roanoke College. Jason Sprinkle is the recipient of the Botetourt County Chamber of Commerce and the Botetourt County 4-H Leaders Association Scholarship. Next is Bobby Stewart, who has received a scholarship to wrestle at the Citadel. Michelle Stilwell 
has received a music scholarship at Cumberland College along with the Lord Botetourt Band Booster Scholarship. James Wilson has received scholarships from Shenandoah University's Honors Program as well as a scholarship grant from Shenandoah. Next is Georgia Weish, received the Lord Botetourt SCA Larry Kephart Memorial Scholarship. Susan Weish has received the Lee Jackson Scholarship. The next two have not been announced prior to this evening. The Paula Cook Memorial Athletic Scholarship in the amount of $300 per person for 1994 goes to Molly McCorkle and Gabe Sander. are expanding so greatly that much of what we will need to be leaders in the year 2000 has not even been invented. As a result, a great deal is expected of us, the graduating class of 1994. We are expected to choose to excel. However, as we all know, it is not as easy to excel as people might think. This is especially true when your peers, colleagues, or friends oppose your values and ideals. It is especially true when searching for adult role models. It is not easy to excel when those whose strength and support you need the most make it difficult for you. If you choose to excel, you must break from tradition. If you choose to excel, you must break from your peers and stereotyped role models. If you choose to excel, you must become an individual. An individual who often finds oneself standing all alone while others stand together in mediocrity. Fellow classmates, much has been given to us and much is expected from us. As Dr. Moore stated in his prayer at baccalaureate last Sunday, know what to stand up for and what to bow down to. Know what to cherish and what to ignore. As we depart Lord Bidata High School, I ask you to remember one thing. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. 
As Eleanor Roosevelt put it so eloquently, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I urge you to let your dreams be your only boundaries, henceforth and forevermore. Thank you. I am honored to have this chance to speak. All my life, I've been given opportunities to succeed. As my parents, teachers, and friends, you have given of yourselves to make my life better. I have a story about giving, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. While this is a children's story that many of you have probably heard, it has a very special message. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come and he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much, and the tree was happy. But time went by, and the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come, boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the trunk and gathered the apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house, and the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are all gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too tired to swing, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too old to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did, and the tree was happy. The end. The tree gives everything she has so that the boy will be happy. Without realizing it, the boy accepts the tree's sacrifices in order to live more comfortably. For much of our lives, we've been given gifts by people close to us. It is our responsibility now to enter the world and give of ourselves. Let us remember all that has been done for us, and let us continue to make others happy through our giving. Thank you. Members of the faculty, parents, friends, and fellow classmates, the class of 1994 has already been introduced to a maze of drug abuses, crime, and incurable diseases to name but a few of the problems of our time. For us, the difference between the past and the future will be that we have to face these problems and try to find their solutions on our own. The question now is what is meant by on our own. We will come to realize that we are a part of all that we have met. There are two ways in which this is true. First, we leave a part of ourselves wherever we go. And secondly, we carry with us a part of everyone we have met. We leave an influence upon all those with whom we are associated in life. Even before we knew much about what was going on around us, we were making deep impressions upon our parents. Our parents have watched us grow from childhood to youth. We've occupied a place in their, their lives that neither time nor circumstances can erase. We are a part of them. 
As classmates, we have influenced each other. We have worked together, played together, had our differences and trials, our love affairs, and so on. Much of what we have learned, whether for good or evil, we have learned together. Not only have we influenced all those with whom we have been associated, but also each one has become a part of us. Besides our parents and friends, our teachers have been a part of our knowledge and attitudes. We may not have obtained as much as they would have liked, but nevertheless, more than is realized. So we see that the problems that we will face on our own have their solutions in everyone, for we are a part of each other. The class of 94 has its base for the future. Whether we expand on it or not is up to each individual. If we keep in mind the power of influence that we all possess, and if we use this influence in a constructive way, we will have the opportunity to solve the weaknesses in our society that we must face from day to day. Once again, because we are actually one, we have the unity and strength needed to overcome the obstructions in our coming years. Thank you.
hard to fathom that we, the class of 1994, were once so ignorant and once knew so little. These past four years, we have learned and experienced so much more than our parents can even imagine. And you know, this is all a result of the dedicated and determined faculty of Lord Bottleshead High School. Starting, starting off as freshmen, we were mere blobs of clay ready to be molded and sculpted into perfection. Our sophomore and junior years were by far the most difficult years for the blobs of clay because during these trying years, because during these trying years, one usually discovers what he or she is interested in. And in order to find out one's interest, one must experience and, and try different things. Um, teachers seem to end up working with many different patterns and designs during this, this until they're able to come up with a unique way for each student or the direction the student is aiming. Senior year can be considered a breeze because the only job of the teachers is to refine a few minor odds and ends in order, for each, in order for each student to graduate. Um, basically what I'm trying to say is that the wonderful faculty of Lord Bottletot High School has dedicated a lot of their time and effort in order to make the class of 1994 ready to conquer the world. Thank you, teachers, and thank you. Um, good luck, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present to you this evening the Lord Botetourt High School class of 1994. Stephanie Ann Heron. Brooke Michelle Adams. David Michael Aldridge. Carrie Renee Arrowwood. <laughs> Billy Clay Arthur. <laughs> Amanda Faye Atkinson. <laughs> Brandon Marshall Bailey. <laughs> Derek Mitchell Bennett. <laughs> Jennifer Rebecca Barber. <laughs> Gregory Scott Bass. <laughs> Jennifer Jeff Beicher. Christy K. Belcher. Patrick Joseph Benedetto. Jason Miller Bishop. Colleen Marie Boynton. Mary Ellen Booth. Gretchen Nicole Bowser. Douglas Eric Bramman. Brian Allen Brogan. Junior Ruffman. Cherie <laughs> Monica Brown. <laughs> Jennifer Marie Brown. <laughs> Philip David Brown. Ken Bond. <laughs> Mary Catherine Butts. <laughs> William Robert Crimes. <laughs> Laura Suzanne Clinton. 
Alicia Brooke Cochran. Faye Viola Cochran. Laura Lee Kaufman. Kristen Ann Collins. Christopher Eric Compton. Matthew Ryan Compton. Ronald Ray Compton, Jr. Amy Diane Connor. Sean Patrick Connor. Donald Glenn Cook. Pamela Gail Cox. Neil Alexander Kramer. Eric Scott Crampton. Michael Allen Crawford. Angela Lynn Crenshaw. Jeffrey Calvin Cronice. Kevin Scott Krause. Michael Tay Crowder. Leslie Nicole Daugherty. Christopher Allen DeWeese. Rodney Seth Dillman. Brian Landon Dinkle. Marshall Dogan Jr. Elizabeth Lee Drennan. Amy Elizabeth Dudley. Sylvia May Dudley. Brian Thomas Dudley. Christina Duffield. Mark W. Dunbar. David W. Dunbar, Jr. Elizabeth Dawn E. William Aaron Eames. Pamela Sue Edgecombe. Brandon Paul Edwards. Shannon Elaine Edwards. Jason Wayne Evans. Tanya Noel Ferguson.
Jerry Elaine Bowen. Matthew Brian Forbes. Cherie Nicole Fouts. Jason David Garnett. William Bradley Garrett. Jennifer Ann Gates. Jane A. German. Barbara Jean Gibson. Emily Suzanne Gibson. J. Scott Gillen. Richard Edwin Blue, Jr. Chastity Dawn Graham. Danielle Marie Graham. Cherie Nicole Graham. Robert Stephen Grable. David Scott Griffin. Allison Beth Guthrie. William Chadwick Harden. Carla Marie Harmon. Darren Wesley Harris. Dawn Marie Harris. Cameron Shay Hillard. Robin Renee Hodges. James Robert Hodgkin. Brian Lee Hogan and Abstention. Kelly Rebecca Honeycutt. Brian Stephen Hopridge. Amy Marie Howe. Anitra Lynn Huffman. Marissa Lynn Huffman. Robin Lee Hughes. Jeffrey Lloyd Hurst. Daniel Allen Jennings. Carl Bradford Jennings. Jack Edward Johnson. Chastity Renee Jones. Christopher Wayne Jones. Christopher Lauren Keaton.
Melanie Diane Key. Scott Raymond Kirby. Timothy Joseph Kaiser. Stephanie Nicole Nicely. Elaine Michelle Lackey. Jennifer Lynn Leighton. Christina Renee Lanza. And Abstentia. Harvey Stephen Gladdy. <laughs> Heather Olivia Lennon. Brian Christopher Lewis. <laughs> Donna Gail Liptrap. Stephanie Lee Lucas. Carsten Lutza. Crystal Tara Lundy. Jason Leonard McMacken. Aaron Michelle Martin. Mark Wesley Mayer. Deborah Lee McClammer. Molly Ann McCorkle. Sherry Lynn McCormick. Denise Elaine McNett. Michael Wesley Meadows. Adrian Vincent Mahalski. Jackie Lynn Mills. Ashley Michelle Moore.
Whitney Landers Painter. Michael Wayne Patrick. Jeff Wayne Patrick. Amy Suzanne Patterson. Christina Lynn Patterson. Michael Noel Perdue, Jr. Sarah Ann Phillips. Melissa Lorraine Plunkett. Timothy Jason Plunkett. Chris Anderson Paul. Kimberly Renee Paul. Jeffrey Scott Price. Donna Jo Pritchard. Damon K. Ridden. Angela Dawn Ridden. Sarah Lynette Reynolds. Tamara Kristen Richards. James Randolph Ruland III. Gabriel Allen Sanders. Christopher Lynn Saunders. Chad Lehue Sayers. Angela Lynn Sycamoia. Ray Braxton Shanks. Mary Diane Shelton in absentia. Elizabeth Ann Sled. Chad Brian Smith. Dawn Marie Smith. Jeff Gordon Smith. John Edwin Smith, Jr. John Thomas Snell. Amanda Ray Sowers. Jason Dean 
Franklin. Sean Christopher Stanley. Robert Allen Stewart, Jr. Brian James Stiglitz. Michelle Lee Stilwell. Alicia Dawn Switzer. Jacob Wayne Tuss. Jacob Troy Turner. Jody Lynn Turner. Rebecca Lynn Turner. Ann Walden. Delmas Thomas Walden III. Melody Ann Walden. Sarah Kelly Watson. Kimberly Renee Webb. Anthony Edward Wyndham. Christian Dee Whitaker. Dana Marie Wild <laughs> Kelly Lynn Wilhelm. <laughs> Don Michelle Wills. <laughs> Brian Alexander Williams. <laughs> Joe Roger Williams. Jane Mark Wilson. Jay Corey Wolford. David Shane Wood. Laurie Wood Wilkerson. Molly Gay Wright. Georgia Rogers. Weish. Susanna Porter Weish. My congratulations to all the seniors. You may, you may now turn your tassels, seniors.
I wasn't thinking about much just getting this diploma and getting out of here. That's about it. Happy it's over. The beach. Yeah, I want to go to the beach. That's it. Going to the beach? Trying to go to the beach? Yeah. Where beach? Myrtle Beach. Party seven days straight. Oh, I'm excited. I'm glad ready to move on. Huh? Ready to move on and excited. Ready to move on? Yeah. Went off a quick, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> Talk about the ceremony. I mean, it's hard to believe. It was it's nice. Over. It was a really nice ceremony. It's sad to see everybody from last time. Oh, no.